All right, welcome back to Don't Diecast, Diecast family. As you can see, we're at a Walmart. First thing in the morning, it's getting brighter outside. Finally, it's not pitch black in the morning. So we're gonna head in here and see what they got on the pegs. All right, guys, coming up to the pegs, I can see F case, because this guy in yellow is a definite telltale that that, along with the blue dragon wagon, you know, also a telltale F case sign. So, just so you guys know, what I'm looking at is this top letter and number combo. Can you can you focus anytime soon? No? Okay. The top letter combo, there we go. The last thing on there is C-O-F. F would be the case that you're looking at. So this would be F case. And then let's say we looked at this. The very top there. It's M9COJ. So this is older. This is J case from last year. You know, a little help if you're not exactly knowing what I'm talking about. Or if it's just a little bit of knowledge that you're learning, you know? Uh, let's look through these. It's kind of hard. These ones are always super tight because it's, uh, you know, made for Hot Wheels. So made for just enough room. All right. You can see here's the Cosmo Sport F case. So there's going to be a couple in here. There's El Camino. All right. We're going to have to go through this in a second. They're stacked up in a couple threes down there. That's always a good sign. And then over here we have some cars hung up. Um, I don't know what we're looking at. C case. Yeah, this is kind of different. Oh, there's F case. All right. Let's give it a look. Oh, Diora, Makiko, Mazda Cosmo Sport. Well, you're not it. I've been seeing a lot more uh, supers of that that people have been finding. It's very cool. Like I said, I'm still yet to find a super. But, uh, you know, I'm going to keep looking. Got to keep on the hunt. I mean, that's, that's everybody. Whether or not you can even find stock when you find something, got to go through it. Got to see what you can find. Let's see what we can find. All right, guys. So we went through all of this, lined everything up, got everything pegged up as much as we could. We couldn't find much of anything. I found a couple of different cars from F case that I thought were really hot. The Mazda Miata, the recolor for the Ford Escort RS 2000, the 70 Dodge Hemi Challenger, and of course the recolor on the Bentley Continental GT3. Love that car, looking great. All right, over here on the premium side, first thing I see is, guys, the new Hot Wheels set, the new Fast and the Furious. These are not the premium rubber tires. This is like a little bit lower series because here's the ice charger from the full premium series. So this is my first time seeing any of these. Hopefully we'll see some more while we're out. We're going pretty far today. We'll, uh, we'll see if we can find some good stuff. There's some muscle machines up here. Some Clue. Some Trivial Pursuit. Some Scrabble. Yep, Marvel Mystery Oils. And two wines. Nothing gold on any of these lifts. Two Mercury Cougars. A Voodoo. And a Ross Chaston. Brad. We've got another wine. And two pink willies left. And two Pan Ams. I've seen these Pan Ams forever. But I thought there was only one willy. I wonder if only one willy. We got some large M2s down there. Uh, we got some of those. Seems like there's one more of these too. Because I thought there was one missing. What do they got going on? This is the busted one. Yep, the car is upside down in there almost. <clears throat> Maybe someone returned another one of those? I don't know. All right, we've seen all these, though. They just somehow keep showing back up to the store with, with more there. All right, let me put those back. We'll grab this and get out of here. All right, I was just talking to another collector. He said that there is a corner peg, or not a corner peg, a corner case over here. Yeah, look at this. Fast and the Furious, you guys. There are way more cars than I had originally thought because I only saw the ice charger. 
There's the Ice Charger, the Hellcat. Let's grab one of those. The Jeep Gladiator. The Dodge Charger, like the off-road. See what else is in here? Jeeps. Uh, ice Chargers. All right, just making sure there's nothing behind these because I don't want to miss any of you guys. There's a couple of the off-roads. Hellcat, there's Brian's Ford Escort RS 1600. Super cool. Got the Hellcat again. What's behind there? Another ice charger. All right, I know you guys see something right next to this. So the 72 Ford Gran Torino Sport in green. And there's a couple of these. This one is a way nicer card. <laughs> we'll put you back in here. Another ice charger. These ice chargers might be a little bit better than the one that I grabbed as well. We'll have to grab some really nice cards. There's another Ford Focus, Gran Torino. And what's this one? Last one that we haven't seen. Card looks in good condition. Dodge Hemi Challenger. Cool, you guys. Well, it's all the American muscle. Somebody took all the imports from here. Because there's the Toyota Supra, the Nissan Silva, the Eclipse. I think that's about it. But uh, we'll definitely grab these and we'll be only be looking for those last three. Super cool, guys. Alright, guys. Just got done talking to another hunter. He was looking through here. He was saying that they, uh, they definitely restocked this with a couple of different cars. Nothing too crazy. He grabbed a couple of gassers from here because uh, that's what he was looking for. There's the Miata, one of my favorite cars from here. Um, some EV Hummers, a couple of different cars, some of the motorcycle. Oh, here we go. That 90 Audi Quattro. I've been looking for this recolor. We'll definitely be snagging one of those. I have my cars up over on the corner. We'll have to go through all this and uh, see what we can find. I think I see the recolor Corvette. Yep. All right. We'll have to go through this. I'll pull out some things. All right, guys. We grabbed a couple things out of those cases. We have... The Audi 90 Quattro with this awesome recolor. Guys, super cool. I found a couple of these because that first one I found, the paint, it's like really chippy back there if you saw. So I'm just going to pick out the nicest looking one and the nicest looking card and snag maybe two of those. Found a terrific, or Tri 5 Terror. Super cool. The 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. Super nice. Love that car. Found the recolor of the 17 Pagani Hydra Roadster with like gold. I don't know if I care for the interior that way, but uh, the blue is very nice, along with the 72 Stingray convertible. Now that blue is a little bit prettier. Uh, we have another one of the Beatles Yellow Submarine. Now this is not the treasure hunt like it was in previous years, but super cool. Glad to grab one of those. I'm a Beatles fan. The Dodge Viper RT10 in the yellow recolor for F case. Along with the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster in a recolor. And one of my favorites, the Subaru WRX STI with a little bit of pink on there. With a gold and white, that, that is a hot looking car. Happy with how that came out. Nice job, Hot Wheels. All right, we'll grab a couple of these and our Fast and the Furious and get out of here. All right, guys, next place I'll see you is Walmart. All right, guys, we made it to Walmart. Let's see what they got in this store. All right, let's start out at the premium side. We got a couple NASCAR Authentics, some Wave 7, which means that would be the Castrol number 6. But I don't see any number 6 Castrols. I see a bunch of test cars, some Cole Custer, some Chase Elliott's. Nothing too crazy. We have some Loki, some Deadpool bunch of Deadpool, Jurassic World, and then we have some Ronin Run stacked up here. And then a couple Dodge Monoros, or Holden Monoro, sorry. Uh, so we got the Subaru Impreza's over here. We got the Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo. It's a hot looking car. And another Subi. All right. What else do we got? We have some Auto World, some of the old Auto World. We got some Tab up here, some Coke. Some more Coke cars. Got one lift. And let's take a look at these M2s. Turtle Wax. And another Marble Mystery Oil. Got a Wine. A Haze. A Clipper Cargo. 
and another clipper cargo back there. Uh, what's behind here? Another haze, and another Volkswagen. All right, we got the Stingray, and some mongooses, and some more Holden Moody. All right, let's go down and take a look at some of these. They got the Flow Flowtech truck here. This is a super cool one. It's got the the Mustang square body, or uh, <laughs> square body. This is a square body truck, but it's got the the Mustang Fox body back there. Super cool. Let's take a look at a couple more of these. Let me find some place to put them all. We've got a bunch of spams over here. Oh, there's the Black Magic. Super cool, you guys. I noticed that the one that we got, the uh, the background is upside down. <laughs> kind of different. Yeah, I don't know if that's anything, but maybe just a little mistake, a little error that they made with it. Let's keep on going. There's the gasser. There's another flow tech. A B&M and a Maui. All right. So there's the B&M. Should we grab one of these? I mean, they are expensive, but I really do like these two sets, the Flowtech and the Black Magic. I really like the truck in that Black Magic. That thing is so cool looking. I don't know. Let's look at some of the other stuff. Maybe we'll we'll make a decision then. All right, they got some smaller M2s down here. Look at the Edelbrock Ground Pounders. This thing is looking super cool. Uh, the Datsun Pickup, another Ground Pounder. The Chevy 150, Ford Bronco, another Datsun truck. The Dodge Challenger RT, another Ground Pounder. Looking all crazy. The Cougar Ground Pounder. Yeah, so this must be a new wave of, of Ground Pounders because here's the uh, El Camino. That's actually really cool looking. I like the motor sticking out of there. The color on that is great. Um, yep, another Challenger. What else do we got in here? The Auto Truck Series. There's a couple boxes from here, but obviously most of the trucks are gone. There's the Ford Bronco and the Econoline again. And then there's the Ground Pounder. Okay, so we're missing the Pontiac GTO. That's a nice looking one as well. All right. Let me put all these back in their boxes. Somebody had them all spread out here. All right, guys, moving on down. We got some moving parts. The Zondi, the Zondi, the Zonda, the Corvette, the Ford, the uh, Land Rover. That's about it, you guys. A bunch of working rigs, some Japan Origins, some of the Jurassic World. What do we got? Just normal ones over here. I haven't seen any good restock of these. And obviously still no Super Chase. But uh, I know what we're looking for, at least. We're looking for that orange Ford. All right, I don't see anything orange over there. I see two of these guys. Just curious. Nope, they're both facing the right direction. All right, we got some Batman. They still have some Mopar set here. More Batman, some five packs. Always look up, you guys. I don't see any more five packs. But, uh, you know, you never know. So keep your eyes open. All right, somebody packed these up to look all nice they have a dump in over there we're gonna take a quick look through it because there's nothing in here absolutely empty all right let's check some of the pegs behind us and then get to that big old dump bin I almost forgot that these are back here we stop at so many different stores it's hard to keep you know everything straight for which store is has got what and where we even are sometimes I mean it gets so far in the day that I forget even what what area we're at because I take a different trip around a different route every time all right guys here's the dump bin I remember this from last time because they had it all stacked up with monster trucks and I had put them all nice in there so it looks like some older case in here for sure I mean I see a a pink Matt and Debbie day uh, Matt and Debbie Hayes Q case I mean so some real old stuff mixed with some newer stuff because here's a E case count muscula so we'll we'll have to take a look through here and see if we can find anything good all right guys we went through all of this the only thing I could find that I actually liked was this 40 Ford pickup I never noticed in the red it was a comp cams edition you guys super cool I'm gonna be grabbing that Edelbrock comp cams along with the flow tech truck with Mustang in the back super cool really love these 
All right, guys, it's still early out there. Let's hit another Walmart. All right, guys, we made it to Walmart. Let's see what this one has for us. Hopefully they have some new stuff. I'm really hoping we can find the rest of those Fast and the Furious line. Coming up to the pegs, you guys, I can see the Dodge Hemi Challenger, which is E-Case. So we're not quite to F-Case here. So there's, there's still some cool looking cars in here, but uh, nothing that we're gonna <clears throat> really be looking for. Sorry about that. Let's just move the pegs over a little bit so we can see down here. It's always hard to see from that side. Oh yeah, and, and it's a bunch of uh, fantasy cars, really. I mean, what, the Lucid Air, the McLaren Elva back there, or that EMS Charger. The Corvette way back there. What the? Uh, okay, yep, that's an Erkenstein rod. All right, here's the McLaren, or not the, the uh, Lotus. Eviha. All right, there's a tuned Silverado back there. Not much. What are you, okay. Yep. Let's, uh, let's go through this and see what we can find. All right, guys, we went through all of this. We didn't find much of anything, just some normal cars. You know, nothing nothing crazy, no supers, no treasure hunts. Let's keep it moving down the aisle. We got some Mopars over here. We got some Hot Wheels Stars and Stripes. Some Matchbox. All right, I don't see much for Matchbox. Looking too new, at least. Uh, and, you know, always my favorite to check. That one's facing the right way. What are you? MGB GT Coupe. Huh. It's a little bit different. All right, we got some Japan Origins, some Matchbox moving parts. Pagani Hydras, the Ford, the Land Rover, the Corvettes. Yep, that's about it, guys. More working rigs. Got some Monster Jams. Some Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Let's see if we see anything cool like a Mrs. Um, is it Mrs. Gravedigger? I think it is. And then we already found the uh, frosted DeLorean. All right, I don't think we're going to see him in there, though. Premiums, you guys, not looking too bad. They got a couple of Ronin runs, two of the starlets. I love the paint on these starlets. They just shine. So amazing. And then uh, there's one Subi back here looking good, too. There's a Camaro ZL1 Studebaker 2R truck. Got a couple of lifts. It sounds like some alarm is going off back there. Got some Mongoose Marvel Mystery Oil. The Marvel Mystery Oil. We got two of those. I don't think I ever got the chase to that. I think I missed out on it. I'll have to get back on and see if I could find one. There's the Grape Crate. More of the Malaroy. That Camaro's really nice looking as well. And some more Maui and Sons. All right, let's go over. They got some Auto World. This is part of the new wave of 2023. And then these two are old. We got the Jeep and the Mustang back there. A couple of just trucks. Uh, it doesn't look like any of Kings of Crunch. They have a couple of the Aero Sculpts. Some Jurassic Park. What is this? One of the... Uh, Oh my goodness, they are going nuts over there. They got one van over there, a uh, couple of shell, and let's go down to the M2s, you guys. All right, I'm gonna move these over just a tad. We have the FOMO Co's, and I don't know who did this, but they're all set up really nice. Not like I, I might have taken a look through these beforehand. You never know if you gotta run over here and, and make sure you're you're first up to these because you never know when you're going to find a chase. All right. Nothing there, you guys. That's it. Yep. Well, let me put all these back and we'll move down to these small M2s. All right, guys. I think a lot of these are fairly old, but we'll still go through a bunch of Volkswagens. Hard to see the wheels on those. They're so, so far down there. A couple of Dinty more. Uh, another Dinty more, some more pinks. We got the Mercury Sun Valley, B and M, some Flower Powers, some more Dinty more. Oh my goodness, those are wedged. Okay, there's some of the auto trucks, 
So there's the Datsun again down here. And then the van down there, the Econoline with an A100 over there. And then a bunch of pinks, which these are constantly just the starlets. And uh, the, uh, what is the other one? Uh, Crestliner. Yeah, so nothing left but those. Bunch of them though. Wasn't a hot set from there apparently. All right guys, we got those all put away. And I think that's about it for here. I looked up, I didn't see anything. Let's uh, think about heading out of here. All right guys, I happened to see this out of the corner of my eye and I went through everything and nothing again. Totally empty bins. Somehow I thought they got rid of them, but nope, they're still here for $20.98. <laughs> still insane to me. Can you guys take a guess what our next stop's gonna be? The only thing out this way, there's no targets. I mean, we could stop at a couple Dollar Trees, but usually I do and I end up not showing anything because they have nothing. So, uh, can you take a guess where we're gonna stop? Walmart. Wait, where, where are we? All right, guys, we were looking at some 164th scale and I was driving to the next Walmart and I saw some one to one scale. And I'm like, look at this Silverado. Old school Silverado, looking super cool. Old school rims. That is a good looking car right there, for sure. But then I was like, wait, do they have the chase? Oh my goodness, it's the green light chase. The American racing rims. This is a hot truck right here. This, this I would love. Go cruising around in this thing all the time. All right, I just had to stop to show you guys. Okay, let's try it again. Walmart. All right, it worked this time. We are at Walmart. Let's see what this one has in store. This is Seneca Falls Walmart. I had to look at the sign. All right, guys, they just got done restocking this. This is freshly dumped, and you know what it is. This is F case, you guys. So there's the Nissan Patrol Custom we haven't seen yet. We we'll have to set that off to the side. Guys, I'm so stoked. There's the, uh, the pink right there. So let's go through the El Segundo. There's the Lotus Emira. Guys, I see the Donut Drifter. There it is, there's our treasure hunt. You see the writing under there? Super cool. Got this, the Mazda Miata. We have the Camaro ZL1 in yellow. Looks really nice as well. Then a couple of bricking speeds, couple things there. Awesome. The Civic Custom, we've been looking for this one. Very cool. Guys, I'm so glad that we're getting to go through some brand new restock. I mean, getting to see everything that was in this case. Everything that we've been missing. We got that blue Corvette at the last spot. We grabbed a couple of these. And we're definitely gonna be leaving a bunch for the uh, the people, you know? We, I want you guys to get some awesome stuff. There's the Carrera RS. All right, let's get down to the bottom of this. Who knows which way this thing was facing. I have not seen the would-be Super yet. There's another Porsche. There's another Civic. Uh, the Hummer. The Quattro again. There's the Viper. We got that Viper last time. The Tri-5 Terror. The Hummer. We have, oh, 911 Porsche with some awesome graphics on the top. I didn't know where there were two Porsches from this set. There's the Gold Liberty Walk Silva. Been looking for that. Oh, guys, this is so cool. Look at the Renault. So cool. Wish that was the Chase, but it is not. But uh, not too bad. I'm, I'm not going to complain about that. We're going to grab that in the van as well. Um, let's check through the rest of this case just to see the rest of it. The Dimachini, we've seen the Continental in the recolor. All right. I don't want to lose these. Here we go, the Beatles Yellow Submarine again. We grabbed one of those from the last place. 
the Ford Escort, the Batmobile, the Pagani, and I think that's it, you guys. I think we've gone through the whole F case. Super cool, you guys. I'm glad we were able to do this. It's almost like a Lamley's unboxing. All right. Well, we got a bunch of cars, and the uh, the gentleman restocking, we had to let him know because he was restocking some of these cars and had some premiums. And if you guys can see, Back to the Future, Ford Super Deluxe Biff's Poop Car. I can't believe I just found that. And of course, in that is the Rugrats set. I'm gonna grab two of these. Super cool. All right, guys, I always love this store. Look at all the stock they have here. They have such awesome stuff. I'm gonna start from the left so we can get all this. So there's some Fast and the Furious, some ice chargers back there. Jurassic World, a couple of Marvel cars. Batman back here. Now this is what he was restocking. So this comes with a Super Mario Brothers. This is an old one, the Jetsons. What uh oh there's a whole mix of things in here. So there's a Fast and Furious in here. That goes over there. A couple more Jetsons. Wonder Woman. Uh there's a Toyota Starlet under here. Um let's look at what else is here. So there's some 007, the Aston Martin DBS, and some Batmans. Some more Ronin Runs, some Batmans. Hold on. All right, I was a little confused, but you know, you always got to look up, like I told you guys. So, there's the rest of them. He put a couple more Biff's cars, some Mario, and the uh, the Nickelodeon car. Super cool. There's a couple of the, you only live twice, the Toyota 2000 GT Roadster. It's a nice looking car, not my, my super cup of tea, but you know. And then, uh, there's that the Aston Martin back there as well. So let's look through some of these, the Ronin Runs, guys, tons of these, the RX-7, the Starlet, the 300, there's the white RX-7 Panem. I would love to find the Chase in the black, but you know, chances are probably not, but you never know. Bunch more Ronin Runs down here, Casino Royale, so many more Ronin Runs down here, you guys. And that's it, a couple of Auto Strauss, oh, more Ronin Runs. There's the Panem again. All right, I'm out of luck. No chase there, you guys. There's so many cars down here. We're gonna have to look at these haulers next. Holman Moody, a couple of Turtle Waxes. Another Holman Moody with the down Holman Moody. Demon Carburetor, Mongoose, Holman Moody. All right, what else do we got? Some Kings of Crunch over here. And some NASCAR Authentics down below, but there's nothing left of these. So we're not gonna go too crazy. USA Legacy. God, why do I have... Those Kings of Crunch just love to fall on me. Mercury Cougars, some more BMX, another Turtle Wax. Some Pawn Stars, History Channel, a Jeep from over there. Some Speed Racer, some Johnny Lightnings over here, some Scrabble. And we have some Coke. This guy fell. We got some, some lifts over here. Nothing too crazy for lifts. Some Auto World. These are all leftovers, and one 50s Fins, Johnny Lightning. Let's go through some of these M2s. All right, let's go through. Here's the, the Camaro. We found that in the chase last time. The crane cams. We got some comp cams by Edelbrock. They tried to tape up the corner so it didn't look so damaged, but that thing has took quite a beating. Got some gear bang and shift knobs. We got another comp cams, Edelbrock down there and another gear bang and shift knobs. All right, those wheels don't look black chrome, so I'm not going too nuts about those. All right, guys, the smaller M2s, got a bunch of ground pounders, bunch of ground pounders, bunch of dinty more. The Camino ground pounder. So we saw these at the last store. So we're not missing anything much here. Look, there's one shark mouth left. Some more ground pounders, a Ford, that was the GTO from that ground pounder, the pink, the Challenger, GTO, the bazooka. Oh, we're about to drop that auto. And then the pinks with the bazooka in the back and more pinks. 
All right, guys, that's it for those. Let's move on to the haulers over here. All right, guys, there's a Black Magic left here. This is such a hot looking truck, the Sierra GMC 73. Yeah, that is super cool looking. Let's go through some more of these Coke ones. We, uh, what is this? This is the Ford Fairline, the Bel Air Gasser over there. We have the Chrysler in the chase already. There's two of those, tons of the Bel Air Gassers. My goodness. All right, lots and lots to stack up. Now this was a cool one. When we found that, everything was in red and it was super easy to spot. These guys all have red tires and are supposed to have red tires. So we'll just leave all those back there. I'm putting one more with them. And then we'll stack this four back here as well because they are just duplicates on duplicates. Always, don't forget to look up, guys. Let's, uh, let's see if I can get these haulers off of here without breaking nothing. There's the Flotec. Super cool. We snagged one of those at the last one. This guy's got like dirt on him or something right there on the inside. Let's see what the other one up there is. Looks like the same too. Oh, wouldn't it have been cool to find some type of chase? All right, another Flotec. Ours looks pretty good compared to this. Yep. All right, that's got like a chip on there. I'm glad with the one that we picked out. All right, guys, moving along. Some Monster Jams and then some Matchbox moving parts. Got the Corvettes, some Japan Origins, some regular Matchbox. I see somebody left us the, the backwards one versus the forwards one. <laughs> Thanks. You know, there's some Warner Brother cars. Now, I've seen a bunch of these. I'm still just looking for, uh, is this different? No, that's the same thing. Yeah, I'm looking for the Mystery Machine still. But uh, yet to find it. Here's like some of the Honda set. The Mazda Miata. The Honda Prelude. Two Honda Preludes down there. We might have to look and see if we can find some more of these. Very cool. Let's go through some of these Hot Wheels. There's even more new case dropped in here. Guys, let's go through, see what we can find. Found a couple singles. This Audi Quattro has barely any paint flaws and they all have paint flaws. So I'm gonna grab that. The Nissan Patrol Custom in its new recolor in blue, looking super cool. Liberty Walk Super Chalet, Nissan Silva in gold. Some more of the WRX STIs in pink. Something that everyone's been waiting for are these 73 Honda Civic Customs. That's a super cool looking car. If I ever seen one myself. There's a 71 Porsche 911 with some awesome livery on it. And that's an urban outlaw car. Some new for 23, 75 years of Porsche. The 911 Carrera RS 2.7. And then, so there were three cases dumped here, three non-supers, and three treasure hunts. We're going to leave some treasure hunts for people and grab a bunch of cars for ourselves. Hope you guys had a good time. I know I did. Always fun seeing you guys. Guys, good luck out there and have fun. Peace.